guys, welcome back to a new video. If it's your first time here, please subscribe and click that bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. And follow my social medias right here. And let's get on with this video. Okay, as you see by the title of this video, this is gonna be a story time. And this is gonna be a story on how I almost died now that might seem a little dark and scary but i wanted to put this video out for a warning and what not to do when you get your tonsils and adenoids out because don't be scared of getting your tonsils and adenoids out don't be scared i am glad i got mine out i feel a lot better i'm not always getting strep throat or anything like that one thing of getting them taken out is i had to go to the hospital now this is where it gets dark. This is what not to do. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you the story. Basically, I got my tonsils and adenoids out. I was doing great. I ate after two days or three days. It wasn't very long till I started eating soft foods like smashed potatoes and jelly. But a couple days after that, I was eating really good. And then I had a tickle in the back of my throat. And do not, out of any circumstances, do not. <laughs> try to stick your finger or anything down your throat when you get your tonsils out because you can reopen a scab and you can start to bleed in your body. Now, I had a tickle in the back of my throat and I stuck the f my finger down my throat and I scratched it basically and that reopened. Well, I fell back asleep because I thought I got it. Well, I woke up choking to death, not literally to death, but started choking a lot. And so I went to the bathroom and basically was spinning up blood. Well, um, a few minutes after that, I got a bucket and was throwing up blood for, I think, an hour, maybe two hours. I don't know. But it felt like a very long time. And well, I went to my mom, say, hey, I've been throwing up. What do I do? So she got up, went in the living room with me. We stayed in there because we thought it would be done past, but that was not the case. So I basically threw up like a gallon maybe a gallon and a half of blood like blood and like chunks of blood like it was so nasty i will not be showing a picture i don't think i even have one anymore but when i got my mom we sat down and i kept saying i've been throwing up for the past hour maybe hour and a half and she was like well let's just sit down and see if it will pass well, two hours later, I was still throwing up, but I've already thrown up like a whole bucket of blood basically. And mom was like, okay. So she went to my dad. My dad was freaking out, scared as crap. And we rushed to the hospital. And this was during COVID too. So we all had to wear a mask and everything. And I would say getting your tonsils taken out, wearing a mask really does help because you're not breathing in so much air and drying it up so definitely i would think wear a mask when you get your tonsils taken out but anyways we were rush rushing to the hospital while i was still throwing up blood i basically threw up so much blood that i thought i was gonna have to get pumped up with more blood but i didn't have to do that thank the lord they i don't know they were taking forever like i was freaking out my mom was freaking out dad was freaking out but he had to stay in the car because he i don't think he could have came in there only one adult and i was like i need one of my parents to come in here like now like i don't want to be in here by myself throwing up blood that i might die <laughs> But a few minutes later, I had to use a restroom and I was still throwing up blood while I was using the restroom. Very awkward. There was a doctor in there, which was even more awkward. And I got out. They gave me some stuff to stop throwing up. And they gave me, um, I think, two bags of IV or that clear liquid stuff. But that was the scariest moment of my life like almost to death so yeah if you get your tonsils and adenoids out do not of any circumstances do not pick at your throat please i do not want you to go through what i've been through this is why i'm making this video to warn you guys not to do that now please uh, do not get scared of getting your tonsils and adenoids out <laughs> Just don't do what I did. <laughs> 
I, that's basically the end of this video. If something like this happened to you or tell me your tonsil story, please, because I would like to know. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big huge thumbs up for me and please subscribe if you have not and click the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video and follow my social medias right here to see my face more often. I guess that's it. Be you, be true, be happy. I love you guys. Bye.